Your friendly neighborhood van man here at the Montreal Car Show in the Toyota lot. My goal today is to give you measurements on all of these vehicles that you won't find online. The term I'm going to call the vehicle's bed span. That is the maximum distance that you have in a straight line from the back of the front seat all the way to the back. That way, then anybody who watches this clip will know how small of a vehicle that they can get and still be able to stealth camp comfortably anywhere in the world. Let's go. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? I mean, if we're going to start with anywhere, we got to start with a van. Right? We're looking at the 2024 Sienna. This guy has got a tremendous amount of space in it. When you come into it like this, this seat has the ability to go all the way back. Recline. There's a friggin' TV over here. On the limited edition, there's a footrest that comes up. You can friggin' drive around like you're the president in here. When you call shotgun in this vehicle, you don't want the front seat, you want the back. My only complaint is these second row seats, they don't come out. So what you're looking at for a bed span in this 2024 Sienna is a little bit less than it could be. Something I love about this vehicle, all the electrical bits that you see, is uh, its ability to easily transform into a flat space, perfect for stealth camping. We can do a bit more though by advancing these seats. So here's what we got, reasonably flat surface, give or take. I mean, you put a piece of plywood down, you're gonna be okay. You got USB ports all over the place, cup holders all over the place. So from the back of those seats till the back of the vehicle, you're looking at, let's call it 76 inches. But if we could remove those seats and go to that cup holder over there, we're looking at just under eight feet. Darn shame, because with the gas mileage on this thing, this would be the perfect vehicle to stealth camp in. Unfortunately, when doing camping in a vehicle every centimeter matters and having these unable to be removed is just a big waste of space over here we got the 2024 venza this is a luxury xuv that uh, can't tow a darn thing but the measurements inside let's check those out just beside the venza we've got our corolla cross hybrid they chose to go with the dehydrated urine color this guy unlike the venza next door does have the ability to actually tow something but let's see how it does on the inside uh, for its sleeping abilities over here on my right this is the gr series i'm not saying you can't sleep in these things i'm saying why are you sleeping in one of these things i'll give you a measurement on this guy the GR Corolla. Look at back there. That's a nightmare. You don't want to be sleeping in here. Beyond these, I've got a small member complex vehicle. We have the uh, Corolla Hybrid. Some of you are probably thinking, hey, you're nuts. You wouldn't sleep in one of these. I've put a bed in a Fiat 500. This is child's play. Those of you who don't know how uh, hybrids work, a gas model vehicle, whenever you hit the brake, that's lost energy. A hybrid, it's going to take that energy use it on the electric motor for the next time that you take off. Right next door to our Corolla Hybrid, we have a Camry with such a nice interior. It took me forever to figure out how to put these seats down. It's because it can't be done from the inside. It's super sneaky, not even on the back of the chairs, but up here on this little pull button. Something a little bit more spacious would be just on the right here. This is a RAV4 Prime hybrid, great on gas, can plug in, so it's gonna get you some mileage that way. Exact same bed span as the Soli hybrid model. Out of all the vehicles here as a solo stealth camper, this guy right here is what I would like to be rolling around in. If you're thinking, man, I don't wanna do the van thing because it's been done so many times, but I still want something a little bit more spacious from Toyota, I'd go over here with the Grand. Highlander, especially this color. This blue is sweet. This is the hybrid platinum max all wheel drive. You throw the seats down in this hybrid, this thing is gonna give you some great gas mileage and a very comfortable place to sleep. This thing I really like. This is the Forerunner. It's just jacked and ready to be hitting the road off-road, wherever you want to go. This will jump a curb in friggin' traffic. I love how this friggin' back window comes down, gaze out at the stars. You've got the window, the sky roof here. Look at that. The only catch is the 2024 model is only gas. So this thing's gonna be chugging more liquid than a freaking guy who lives at a frat house. Good news is next year I'm told there will be a hybrid version of this. That'll take the gas mileage down, make that thing a little bit more appealing. Of course, Toyota does have trucks 
I'm not giving you the bed spans for those because those are measurements you can find online. If you want to sleep across the back seat, you'll be able to find that number. Or if you're going to sleep, obviously, in the bed of the truck, um, which is probably where you should sleep. It's literally called a bed. This is the Sequoia here. I would say this is a happy medium between the trucks over there and your average SUV. I wouldn't go with this color necessarily. I'm sure people would say this hides the dirt. But uh, why do you want a vehicle that when it's clean, it still looks like dirt? If you're looking at the Grand Highlander over there and you're like, I'm not a diva, come over here to the much more subtle Highlander. This is a seven seater here, but that back seat will flip down and it's gonna give you a pretty decent space to sleep in. So those are all the Toyotas that are here at the 2024 Montreal Car Show. If you guys want me to go through the rest of uh, the vehicles available from the other dealers, let me know in the comments section. I don't mind running through them and uh, giving you these measurements because honestly, when choosing a vehicle to sleep in, it's the information you need the most, but the only piece that they don't have. Come on. Please don't forget to...